Hello, this is a quick start video to demonstrate how to build a Docshell light switch application in C Sharp. So the first thing you want to do is uh, get your provider project um, from uh, the website. Uh, so to get the provider projects and the extensions, uh, you simply go to the website at www.softlandingcanada.com and select the downloads uh, menu item at the top. Uh, and then navigate down and you will see the list of available uh, providers. Um, this list will grow. Uh, right now it's uh, set to just a single provider, which is Telerac at this point. Um, and the next step is to decide, you know, are you C Sharp or VB.net? And which uh, Visual Studio environment are you targeting? So in this case, we're going to be building on a uh, 2012, uh, the RC edition. And uh, so you simply click on this and download it. Uh, you may need to uh, uh, log into the website, or if you um, don't already have an account, you'll need to uh, sign in. So, for instance, if I was to click on this, um, it will take me to, uh, you know, access denied. Um, all you need to do is register an account, uh, follow the steps here, and just put in your username and a email address and password, hit register, and then go back to your downloads page uh, once you've uh, signed in, and you'll be able to then click on this project. Uh, download and pull this into your local environment. This contains a, um, uh, an RAR file, which is a compressed uh, file containing um, the light switch uh, doc shell um, project for C Sharp. So once we have that, we can uh, ex expand it and, um, and basically it would look something like this, at which point we want to open up this project. And so we'll just open it up with our C. And once you have this project open, you want to uh, give it a quick build. What you will need to do is we do not ship the third-party uh, controls, so um, you will need to add a reference to these controls uh, to satisfy the provider's needs. So it's looking for a, uh, in this case, the Telerec provider looks for the controls, docking, input navigation, ribbon view, and a themes uh, uh, assembly. So once you have those, all you need to do is do a quick build. And once that's uh, built, you are good to go. So we can close this down and we're going to open up a separate, uh, watch, we'll just do it from here. Uh, we'll create a new uh, project. And in this case, it's going to be a C sharp and we'll call this one the CS demo. And we'll say yes to that and yes to that. And your new uh, light switch application, we'll just add a quick data source. We're going to add the uh, Northwind uh, database for our demo. And we're going to select all the tables that are part of that uh, database and hit finish. Great. And then we can close that down. I'm just going to add a few screens and come back. Okay. So I've added four screens, uh, two list detail screens and two search screens. So the next thing we want to do is we want to edit our navigation. So we'll rename task, which is the default uh, navigation group to home. And we'll add a new uh, navigation group and we'll call this one search. And we'll just move that search up in the list. And what we'll do is we'll delete the search screens from the home tab and we'll include the search screens in the search uh, navigation group. The next thing you want to do is you want to go into your uh, extensions and include the doc shell extension itself. If you don't see this extension, it means that you haven't actually uh, in in installed the extensions uh, per se. And uh, we'd recommend that you watch the uh, uh, other videos to d demonstrate how to install that. After the uh, extension is installed, you can select the uh, general properties. Uh, it does take a little bit for this to finish. So once it does finish, you just simply hit soft landing. And so that's your shell and hit save. And so you're done with your light switch, creating your light switch project, uh, which is very quick as uh, it should be. And then we'll now flip over to from the logical view to the file view and select the client project. And at this point, um, you need to add a reference to your providers, provider project. So we will um, browse to the uh, particular um, provider project we just built. Okay, and just scroll down until we find that. So this is our Intellirec provider that we just uh, built earlier. 
And we also have to add the references to the th same third-party controls that were part of the provider project. So um, we happen to have those in a separate folder. And you can download those uh, trial version for Telerec uh, from their website to try it out. And so now we have our um, third-party provider uh, assembly referenced into our client project of our uh, new demo and also the um, provider third-party controls for the provider itself to satisfy that. Once we have that, we can just do a quick build. And we do that just to you know, make sure that the provider is actually, re um, that we can in, um, reflect off of the solution to get the provider. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add a some organizational structure to this. So we're going to create a new folder. We'll call this one Docshell. And inside that folder, we're going to create a, another folder where we're going to place our model. So we'll call this one model. And at this point here, we're going to add a dock shell light switch uh, navigation um, and layout model. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see it here. Make sure that you remove this one. It's very important because you want the default name to actually not be uh, with the one. And hit add. And once it's added to the model, uh, if you just simply um, click on the background that of this uh, swim lane, you'll notice that it'll go off and at the bottom it'll say committing updates to store please wait. And what it's doing right now is it's just enumerating your light switch application and the navigation groups and any commands that you have within your screens and it's it's building out an inventory which it now surfaces as a uh, as part of the the model itself. So if we just pin this solution back and we take a look at what we see here, we have two swim lanes. Uh, and it's organized in such a way that uh, on the right hand side we have the light switch elements, the things that we discovered from your light switch uh, project and on the left-hand swim lane is um, more or less the dock shell um, controls that you would be able to include or exclude from your project. If you don't see these uh, colored square region targets, uh, there's a good chance that you miss the step uh, in adding the um, uh, provider project or you didn't do a compile. It, it, uh, simply go back and follow those steps and you'll be able to um, pull in that. So once you have that, then the next thing you want to do is uh, view your toolbox. And uh, what we want to do now is add a application root shell by simply dragging it from the toolbox onto the canvas of the model in the navigation and layout domain elements area. Um, at this point, you right click, select properties. Um, and what we want to do is we want to um, uh, create a reference to a third-party control that was in your provider project and the way we do that is we simply click on the export name and this dialog will come up which is called the MEF export selection tool and what it does is it reflects uh, in um, any uh, elements or controls that have been built previously either by yourself within your light switch application or within your provider project where they support the I, in this case iDoc shell root um, interface and there is one that we ship out of the box, which is the default shell control. So select that one. So this is your, uh, this really represents the XAML um, that is part of the uh, default control for the shell itself. And the next step we want to do is we want to take the um, navigation uh, groups that we've created, which in this case they'll be ribbon tabs, they'll be shown as ribbon tabs, and we want to connect them to a um, ribbon view, which is part of the shell. So to do that, we simply mass select the um, the uh, green squares that you see here, which are your navigation container controls, and then uh, simply pick the attribute uh, for view control, and it will automatically create a link there. You could also do it this way. You could drag a link directly to um, the target, um, but we find it easier just to quickly select these. Um, so then we want to just pick that and pick that. So now what we've done is we've connected our navigation uh, containers, which happen to be ribbon tabs, uh, to a ribbon view within our shell, and we're almost there. Uh, the next step we need to do is we need to go over to our navigation buttons, um, and we need to uh, decorate these with both text and some icon. So this is the uh, a dock shell button that's tied to a light switch command, which will initiate or open up the screen itself. And so what we want to do is uh, just basically change the text and change the icon. So to change the icon, we simply go down, we look for the large icon name, hit the ellipse, and then import the icon. 
And then the other thing uh, you need to do is you need to make sure that uh, this attribute here is, is actually set to uh, local. So from light switch to local. We'll do the same thing for the orders. So we'll change that from light switch to local. And we'll also change the large icon from customer. And in this case here, we'll just call it orders. And we're going to do the same thing for our search buttons. So our search screen, so search customer. And we want to go down and find a icon, change that to local. And then we want to change our icon for that to be a um, search orders. And no, I forgot this next up. It doesn't really matter. Um, up here, and we'll change this one. We'll make this one show orders. And we'll just change the uh, light switch to local. Change this to search orders. Let's go back, and I want to change this icon to be change the display name to search customers. And I'm going to change this to be a different icon. So we're going to go from that to user information. That sounds good. Hit OK. Great. We're almost there. Uh, the last step that we need to do is we need to um, um, add a license key, an evaluation license key to this project. Uh, so um, to get to the license key where you would add the license key, click on the first swim lane on its background, so this yellow background. And in the properties of that background, you'll see this application configuration. If it's uh, collapsed, expand it, and you'll see this license key area. And now you need to go to the website and get a license key. So we're back at the, the website. In the, under the downloads, uh, you'll see a link on step five. Click here. Simply go to that link and collect, copy rather, the uh, license key that's there. Go back to your project. Click on that background. Paste in that license key. And we're ready to go. So now we just simply hit save. And when we hit save, we're saving out the model. But at this point, what it does is it includes some uh, a T4 template, which generates some code. So the, close that down, and you're ready to go if you just hit run. And if it just comes up with a loading screen, uh, you've probably missed a step. And so uh, just minimize that a little bit, pull that over. It should actually come up with something that looks like this. And of course, now I should be able to open up my uh, customer list detail screen. This, uh, this control here is part of the shell. So if you need to uh, change that, you can do that through the shell itself. And if I hit search, you can see that I'm on the search screen. <coughs> now you'll notice here that between the home and the search, uh, as I flip between these two tabs, the um, screens are isolated in their own docking uh, containers. So if you'd like to have those shared, it's very simple to do. We go back to the model, close the application. And so what we were seeing there is the, uh, the home tab and the search tab are connected to two separate um, uh, content containers. So you simply just delete the search one, go to your link tool, and draw a link up to your home control itself, and then rerun the application. And then once it spins up again, it now when I open up my uh, customer list detail screen, I see that. Now if I click over to the search tab, you'll notice that the customer view stays uh, uh, where it was. And we can open up a uh, search screen for the customers themselves. So um, it is uh, a dockable container, so it allows you to float the windows. So you can move the windows around and float them. You can uh, choose to dock them. And when they're docked, they're pinnable. Of course, you control all these attributes. So, so again, if I go back to here, I'm on the ho home screen. I can order, open up the orders list detail. You notice that the search customers is still uh, visible. And if I click on this uh, element here, you can see that I'm um, now in the uh, uh, search screen itself. So that's a quick uh, uh, tutorial and introduction into a uh, quick start guide into uh, building a light switch application in C Sharp. Thank you very much. Have a great day.